Hey, I'm Sarah Finn, and today we're gonna do something really exciting. We're gonna make colors pow in Photoshop. What is pow? It's pop and wow combined. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my file here. I'm gonna click here and make sure that under Photoshop, I have opened in Photoshop as smart objects. And I did that because, so that anytime I want, I can always go back to that filter by clicking double, this one. Okay, now I'm gonna make a copy of my layer and I'm going to rasterize it. I'm gonna name it E4. I'm gonna use this as comparison later. All right, so before we get into the magical post-processing, we're going, to, I wanna show you a little bit on how, what colors work together. So go to Window, Extensions, Adobe Color Themes. And here we're gonna be using a triadic color scheme. And these colors, when together, look, tend to look vibrant. So here, I'm gonna pick the dominant color, which is obviously red. All right, click here. And I'm just gonna adjust it a bit to get the colors I want. This doesn't look very vibrant. All right. All right, just some adjustment. All right, so this looks great. Now with this color guideline, we can go to the camera raw, start working on it. So one thing to notice in camera raw are these two buttons. And what they do is they tell you if you have no information or too much information. So I click this button here and lower the exposure. Here it's blue because there's no information. Now if I do the opposite thing and I click this button, it's red because there's too much information, it's overblown. All right, so going back here and here, knowing that, I see this blue blimp at the back of my subject's head. And we can change that by upping the blacks just a little bit, just enough. All right, that looks great. <clears throat> and now we can get into the post-processing. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is lower the temperature all the way down. Oh, not that much. Okay, that looks great. And maybe up the exposure just a bit. It looks too dark. Up, 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 up. Okay. And also the contrast and lower the highlights. It's too much, yeah. All right, up, down, down. And that looks okay. So go to the details tab. And I see a lot of noise here. So I'm gonna up the noise reduction on the luminance. Okay, that's great. Now go to the HSL tab and go to hue. And I see a lot of yellow grass here, and that means they're dead. So we'll bring them back to life by shifting the yellows back to green. All right, all the way, actually. <laughs> okay. And now lure the aquas towards green, too, just a little bit. Okay. Maybe darken the blue a little bit, yeah. Not too much, not too much. All right, that looks great. Now go to saturation, and I'm going to pull the blues all the way up. That's great. And the greens too. Okay. Okay. Now to the luminance tab. And remember our goal is to make these colors look similar to these ones here. The green is a little bit too dark, so we're gonna up the luminance. Just so that it looks similar. That's similar enough for me. And the blues are too bright, I think. So we'll just lower it a bit. Alright. Deep oceanic blue. Not too much. Maybe up the aquas a bit. Make them just a bit brighter. Oh, right. I think that's enough. Maybe more green. Mm. Okay. Now, go to the effects tab. And I'm going to dehaze it. Okay. That looks out enough. And this looks great already. We're going to do one more thing. And that's a graduate filter. Okay. And where we're gonna use this, we're just gonna drag this down. And I'm gonna lower the temperature and up the tint. I don't wanna make it green. I don't wanna make it magenta either. This is a little bit over. So, it's the exposure be. And I'm actually gonna lower the clarity because this is the ocean, it shouldn't be rough and choppy. Okay, maybe just 
lower the saturation just a bit. Okay, that looks good. Good. Okay, oh, now we have a problem. And that's, the filter doesn't just affect the ocean, it affects our subject. So we, we can solve this by going to brush, minus brush, and just brush over the spots we don't, we want to avoid. Okay. All right, that looks good. And brush over the greens too, we don't want them to get hit. Switch off the mask, oops. Let's see what we have. Looks great, she's not affected at all by it. Okay, so now for the greens, we'll do the same thing. Just pull it up. Okay. And we're going to up the temperature. It's too cold. And I'm also going to lower the tint towards green. All right, that looks great. That looks very similar to the color we're getting. Okay, maybe up the exposure just a teensy bit. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm also going to up the clarity because this is grass. We want to see it clearly. All right, looks pretty good. And we have the same problem as before with the same solution. Draw down her leg. Okay. And also for the ocean. Okay, that looks great. So click okay. Wow, it looks amazing already. And we can see the before and the after. We still have a couple more things to do. And one, and the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna clean up these brown patches on the crown. They look terrible. We're gonna do that by going to brush and we're gonna brush over them with this color. So how do we get this color? We, we send it to swatches. It's popped up here and we can just click it. And make sure your flow is 1% or around that area. You don't want to layer this on too thick. Okay. Watch out for her legs. And okay, I think we're done with that. And if it's too harsh, we can lower it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that looks okay to me. And to add an extra oomph to this picture, I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. And we're just going to do simple S-curve. A tiny S-curve, in fact. Alright. One more here. And even though this is, like, nearly flat, has such an incredible effect. You can look at it. Before and after. Amazing. And if we want, we can actually add one more thing that would make it look even more amazing. And that thing is back in camera raw. In the effects tab, a vignette. So we can lower it a bit. Just a bit. All right, all right. Okay, that looks a little too dark, but it's okay and up the roundness, and also the feather. And that looks great. So now let's look at the before and after. I'll group these together, and before, after. Amazing. That's it for our video, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.